Welcome fellow crypto addicts to today's video and in this video I want to share a very useful tool with you that you can um, use to um, optimize your DeFi gain so this tool can potentially make you a lot of money if you use it correctly and um, I will explain uh, to you how to use it correctly in a second before that I just want to um, sh uh, tell you that you um, can share this video with your friends and whoever uh, you know is also in DeFi so that they also can um, optimize their gains and now without further ado let's switch to the model uh, no to the tool uh, this time it's not a model and the tool is here so first I want to explain to you how the tool works and then I have prepared two examples for you uh, in which we can um, see what kind of difference this tool can actually make and how much money you can actually um, make uh, when using this tool correctly. But before that I have to tell you that you basically need the Excel solver to use this tool most efficiently. You can, If you don't have the Excel solver that's no problem. If you have Excel you also have the Excel solver. You just have to activate it. I will link a video in the description below that quickly shows you how to activate the Excel solver and um, then you're good to go. If you do not have the Excel server or you're using a different spreadsheet um, um, program, um, maybe you there is a similar tool like the Excel server or else you can just use the trial and error method because that's basically simply what the Excel server would do um, just very efficiently and then you have to use it. And if you do not have that, you use the trial and error method and you will um, get to the same um, solution in the end and the solution is how uh, I mean the question is how many times do you need to compound your interest earnings when you are in DeFi so for example you uh, have an open DeFi position so you were supplying the wrapped mover um, to a liquidity pool and you have staked $1,000 worth on worth of a mover you will get 36.25 percent interest rate a year and that's the APR interest rate so without um, compounding then you will get your um, your gains here and the question is how often do you reinvest your gains into this into the position so that you have in and after one year the maximum amount of gains and yeah we can do that by using this um, compounding optimizer and for that you just have to input three three variables so you need to know the initial capital which is uh, $1,000 in this case you need to input the interest rate um, here and you need to add the cost per compounding so what is the cost per compounding well that's basically just the transaction fees that are you are going to incur when harvesting and reinvesting that so you need to calculate that and input the number here and the thing is you don't have to uh, work with uh, US dollar amounts you can also work with the um, crypto amount but just note that you need to be consistent with the uh, input so if you use dollars here you need to use dollars here if you use the crypto here you need to use also crypto here but I think that's kind of clear okay so now um, let's get into this example let's start with this one with this one first and um, well let's see so with the trial and error method if you use that you will put in your compoundings and you would check when is this value after one year when is this the highest so after 10 compoundings you get $1,423 after 15 well you get the same but actually you will not get the same but the difference is in the cents here so it does not make a big difference but if we maybe compound for um, let's say 80 times a year you'll see it's a bit less than that and there's one um, number of compoundings per year that is the optimal um, value and um, if you don't want to use the trial and error method um, we can utilize the Excel solver again I've linked a video in the description below how to use that one I will just pull it up now all right so here we have the Excel solver pulled up and what does this program do so first you set the objective so we want this value in this cell to be maximum so you want the maximum gains after one year 
and the solver will find a solution by changing the cell B12, so by changing the number of compoundings per year. So the, what the solver is doing here, puts in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, all the numbers he puts in there and he checks when is this value the biggest. Um, you need to set one constraint here and the constraint is that this cell needs to be bigger than 1 or bigger than 0 0.0001. Um, you can add constraints if you put the add button here, you use the cell, you want a reference, then you can uh, um, yeah, use the parameters and then uh, you can use like that, oh, sorry, uh, like that. And that should be fine. This is the only um, constraint you need for this solver to work. And um, now if everything here, if you put in everything here correctly, uh, check the box here and use the GRG nonlinear solving method, then you click solve and then the parameter at a solver gives you the optimum number of compoundings per year, which would be 13 times. So if you reinvest your um, interest earnings here 13 times per year into the liquidity pool, then you will have the greatest value after one year. And uh, we can see here the interest rate is 36%, it's the APR, but your actual APY, so the interest rate with compounding effect is uh, actually 42%, so it's actually a bit higher than that because you reinvest your gains. And here it uh, always says your today's date and it calculates how many days are between each compounding and here it gives you the next five days. So if you compound 30 ti 13 times a year, you have 27 times between each compounding and this would be your compounding date. So you can set on your calendar a little note. So today I want to compound my, I need to compound my positions to maximize your gains. All right, uh, we can also um, use a second example uh, to do that. Uh, this is uh, quite more interesting because there the effect is really, really um, astonishing. So if we put in everything here, we assume that we have the same cost per compounding and then um, you see that actually this gets the, in the APY gets greater with just 13 times of compounding, but this is not the most efficient. So again, we pull up um, our Excel solver, have it here, so we don't have to change any anything here. It remembers the last um, inputs you set, and then we click on solving, and there we go. So actually, you would to be to optimize your gains, you have to compound this position 278 times a year, and then you would, out of your 230% APR, you will get a 879% APY. So out of $1,500 in this position, you can actually gain about $14,600. And this is great effect um, that should not be neglected. So um, if you're in DeFi, then please use this tool to optimize your gains because you will leave potentially a lot of money on the table if you don't compound um, efficiently. Because uh, let me just let us just see what what would be the difference if we compound um, only only um, only one time a day. So uh, or and let, no, let's just say we compound uh, 100 times a year. Uh, in, contrary to 278 times a year. And then you see um, you're, you're missing out on uh, a bit more than 100, um, uh, actually 160 euros uh, or <laughs> not euros, dollars that you would leave on the table if you compound only every four days except to every, except compounding like almost every day. And let's see if you compound only 10 times a year well, then you're uh, leaving on the table about $3,000. So um, that's quite something. So um, there you can see the real utility of this tool. And um, yeah, just uh, click the link in the description below, um, get it via Google Drive and use it, um, share it with your friends, also share this video with your friends. And um, that's, uh, that is, that's it for me for today. So um, I would like it if you um, subscribe to this channel, leave a like, leave some feedback in the comments below. And again, share this video with your friends so that we can all um, 
make the most out of our crypto gains. So see you guys next time.